So what I have here today is a Samsung flat screen TV, model UN4H5203AF. And what it does is really nothing. You plug it in, turn it on, or you try to turn it on and nothing happens. And I'd show you that, but there's really nothing to show. It, it does nothing. Um, so we're going to troubleshoot it, see if we can get this thing working again. So when, you, when something doesn't power up, when you apply power to it and nothing changes, you can't turn it on, there's no indication of life whatsoever, the first thing I always do is check the fuse. And that fuse is okay. So let's plug it in. Now with a lot of these flash screen TVs, you'll notice there's a cable here. And this goes over to the main, the main board, the logic board. If you unplug this, more times than not, it will trigger the backlight. And as you see, the backlight is actually lit up. So that means that there is some power getting through this power supply. So let's plug it back in. Now, I don't have a schematic for this individual unit, but that's okay because they give us a pinout right here on the board. And you'll see it says A13V, and it says A13V actually equals 12.8 volts at 3.48 amps and it says the backlight is 172 volts well the backlight's working just fine so we're not going to worry about that but what we do want to do is probe all of these pins on this connector and make sure that they're outputting what they're supposed to output now some of these like this one is pw what is this power on off Ch chances are that one gets grounded by the main logic board um, and that's what turns you know the tv on and off or that could be a solid five volt um, supply one or the other not too sure uh, we're going to find that out as we do this so let's just start testing so the easiest thing to do is since the chassis is actually grounded if you have a clamp you can just clip it on if you have some alligator clips uh, otherwise I just use a screw hole and just hang it from there now to keep it out of frame and keep it out of the way there's a screw hole down at the bottom here I'm going to use that instead the meter is currently on DC volts and to keep it simple, I'm just going to use this, and everything's going to be backwards because it's the other end of it. But we're going to go off the top. So this here, if I'm correct, should be 13 volts. 12.86, which is right on the mark. All right, the next one down should, should be the same. And it is. And the next one down should be the same, and it is. So we did three, the next one should be 13 as well. And it is, and then the next one should be ground and this should go to zero, which it did. Cool, so that side works. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is do the other side of it now. And the bottoms here, it should be ground, ground. So let's go to here. That is in fact ground, ground. And this is the power on and off, which is 4.5 volts. And that's uh, constant 4.5. The BLU PWM is 3.174. Not sure what that's what that needs to be. And the uh, ODUD is 2.215. So without a service manual, I'm not sure what they need to be. But the BW, what is it? The BLU PWM. That's a pulse with pulse with modulated signal. You'll notice as soon as I plug this in, it turns off. So it looks like the power supply is okay. The only thing I did off camera is because I have an older scope and it's way on the other side of the shop, is I did measure, I wheeled the TV over there and I did measure the uh, outputs. And the outputs are in fact perfectly steady. They're, they're clean DC outputs. So it's, you know, generally if a capacitor was dying, you would have low voltage, but it would also not be filtered properly. Uh, but the output is perfect. So at this point, I'm venturing that the problem is this board here. Now this television worked fine up until there was a storm and uh, lightning struck somewhere near the house. All the TVs went out, including the cable boxes. And this is the only one that they wanted to salvage. So let's unplug it. And let's get this board out and put a new board in and see if that's all we need to know. So if you have something similar and you want to know, do I need to replace the power supply or the main board? Because really these are very simple. These are the two main boards that go bad. 
this is how you can tell. You know, we know that the output of the power supply seems good at first glance. And chances are, if it's a newer TV, it's either going to work or it's not. So let's unplug everything. And take this board out of here. And this is a lot easier to do if you, uh, this is a lot easier to do if, if this is actually laying down. So lay it down on the floor, maybe put some uh, old towels or something, fold it up under it to protect the screen. But I don't have that option right now because it's on camera. Okay, so we have another board right here. This is a used board, but it is supposedly in working shape. It was purchased by the owners of the television. Standing off to the side doing this while well, it's, it's just it's difficult to do on camera. And you may be tempted to just buy one of these and hook it up without actually screwing it onto the chassis, but that would be a mistake because it actually uses these mounting points as ground posts. So you want to make sure it's firmly secured first. Also, if it's laying on the back of the TV, you don't want to short anything. Okay. So let's plug everything in. All right, so let's plug it in. Here's the moment of truth. Does it work? Ah, there you go, let's turn it on. Not sure if the webcam can actually see that. Of course it can't, why would it? There we go. No cable connection. And that's all there is to it. So if you're in a similar situation, and you open up the back of the TV and you're wondering, well, which one of these boards is it? Because most of them have two separate boards. You have a power supply board and you have the uh, main logic board or the main control board. Uh, there are a couple other ones, but rarely they're very low voltage. So usually they won't go or you won't have any problems with them and they have to deal with the LCD. So if you found that helpful, uh, give me a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down, whatever, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, leave them in the comments down below and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.